Have you ever heard that trains can move across oceans between continents? China has a marine beast known as the Cherokee Train Aircraft Carrier, which can tow a train across the ocean. What exactly is China's shipping weapon, and why would the US buy it from China? Can't America make it on its own? But first, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any of our future videos. So let's get this started. Trains can travel across oceans because there are train transport ships. It is commonly used for train ferries between two islands. Although it is relatively unpopular in the worldwide market, the train can travel immediately into its storehouse at the pier before being carried to another wharf for unloading. Previously, only Germany could construct large tonnage train carriers, but China has now completed the Cherokee transport ship. The USS Cherokee, which was delivered to its US owner upon completion, will be used for train transportation between ports in the US and Mexico, reducing shipping distances by about half and dramatically lowering logistic costs in the Gulf of Mexico. Keep an eye out to find out why the US is so eager to purchase this. The difference between this giant ship and other train transport ships is that it features a series of new designs to maximize carrying capacity. For example, this train transport ship adopts the upper and lower plywood design. Rails are laid on each piece of plywood until the total length of the rails is more than 2,000 meters. The train folds like a snake after leaving the dock to preserve storage space, whereas other massive transporters must dismantle the train cars to move so many trains. Loading and unloading time is substantially longer. On the surface, the Cherokee may not appear to have much technological content, yet in order to create this massive ship, China has also invested a significant amount of effort in addressing a critical technological challenge faced by train transport vessels. When the big train draws towards the boat from one side, it creates a massive tilting moment in the hull, and if this force is not balanced, the hull will tilt or capsize. After sensing the inclination of the hull, you can immediately adjust the ballast water, pelvic fin swing, and other forms. This corrects the inclination of the hull so that the train can be safely and stably loaded and unloaded. As a giant ship, the Cherokee also had the rare use of an environmentally friendly exhaust system and also installed two sets of heavy. It also greatly improves the loading and unloading efficiency of the transport ship, so even American transportation companies are interested in high-performance train carriers developed in China, particularly the Cherokee transportation system. As long as a temporary track can be laid so that the train can go directly to the transport ship without relying on the port crane system at all. Recently, despite the persistent native impact of COVID-19, China's top economic planner said the China-Europe Railway Express posted strong growth momentum in its ninth year of operation, playing an increasingly important role in maintaining global industry and supply chain stability. By the end of July, 57,000 China-Europe Railway Express trips had been completed, transporting 5.3 million standard containers worth nearly $300 billion in goods. According to data from the National Development and Reform Commission, the network of 82 routes in Europe covers 24 countries and 196 cities in DRC. According to data from the General Administration of Customs, China's foreign trade with the 24 countries reached 3.45 trillion yuan or $508 billion in the first half of the year, up 7.3% year-on-year. The trains, according to Xu Jinping, director of the NDRC's Department of Regional Opening Up, boosted production resumption in relevant countries and strengthened emergency support for international logistics, and they have become increasingly important in ensuring the security of international industry and supply chains. While sea and air shipments were hampered by the COVID-19 outbreak, domestic operators of the China-Europe Railway Express actively engaged with enterprises for their export needs and customized special trains for groups of companies such as TCL, Lenovo, and Geely Auto, according to Xu. So far in 2022, he said 1,150 customized special trains have operated, effectively easing disruptions to the international industry and supply chains. Shanghai EPU Supply Chain Management Company is a China-EU freight train agent that has been doing business between China and Europe for over a decade. On Thursday, Tommy Tan, the company's president, told the Global Times that an increased number of international customers prefer freight train services. And that's all we've got for now. Thank you for watching. The US scientists are looking forward to make their own train carrying cargo ship as well. But the question is, would they be able to catch up with China's quality? Or would they just rather buy it from China? What are your thoughts on China's largest train carrying cargo ship? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please share it and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining content. We'll see you in the next video.